All right, and we are live. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Dr. CC Says, the Level Up Edition. Y'all, we are leveling up in 2023 in all sorts of ways. We are leveling up mentally, emotionally, with our physical health, all of the things, our spiritual health. We are leveling up this year. And y'all, I'm so excited to have Terry Ferguson in the building with us tonight. And she's saying hey to everybody. I'm going to let her introduce herself in a minute, but I'm, I want to give you all a little bit of information about her. Before we get there, let's start with our norm. You all know how we do. If you have been following Dr. CC says, if you are in the building, drop hello, hey, what's up? Hi, whatever you want in the chat to let us know that you are here with us. If you catch this on the replay, please drop hashtag replay in the chat. OK, and as usual, if you have questions, comments, whatever is on your heart and mind, please drop it in the chat. We love to interact with you all. We love to answer questions. We love to have a conversation. All right. So let me tell you all a little bit about Miss Terry. So Terry Ferguson is a licensed therapist, mindset coach, speaker and author. She is a Florida State certified clinical supervisor. She's also the owner of Solution Savvy Counseling, LLC. Is that right, LLC? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. And she is located in Bunton Beach. Is that right, Florida? Boynton. Boynton, Boynton oh, Beach. Me. Boynton, mm -hmm. Florida. Okay. All right. I see we got somebody in the building. Hey, Wilbert Beck, good evening. All right. So Terry serves her ideal clients who are between the ages of 12 all the way up until adulthood. And so Terry and I have that in common. We love the babies and Terry likes them a little bit older than I do, but that's all right. <laughs> um, and she is serving clients who struggle with anxiety, depression, parenting concerns, as well as trauma. And you can always hear Terry advocating for a reduction in mental health stigma, as well as always sharing how to integrate simple strategies into everyday life that will help us develop this next level mindset. So you all can see why we have Terry with us tonight. Terry is all about leveling up as well. And so, y'all, she is a mindset coach. So she is going to be talking to us about mindsets. I want to give you a little bit of personal background. So Terry is a wife and a mother to three children, Kennedy, Jasmine, and Gavin. And in her free time, she enjoys spending time with family traveling as well as acting and so you all can connect with terry you see it in her um in her byline the mental health mic but she's going to tell you more about that in a little bit so terry go ahead and say hey to the people hey people <laughs> <laughs> so glad to be with you all this evening thank you to our beautiful host dr cc and to the wonderful job that you're doing with Dr. Cece Says and Thank all you. of the things that are that you're uh, doing and leveling up on. So yes. thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> of course. And you all, Terry and I know each other through our speaking coach and our speaking program. And so I've had the privilege of being with Terry um, for probably two, three times a week mm -hmm. since last February. So we're coming up on a year. Yes, coming yeah. up on a year and yeah. and uh, what else? Retreats and on the beach and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. All <laughs> sorts of stuff. On the yacht. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. I see hubby is in the building. Hey, hubby. And sis is here. Hey, y'all. So, y'all, we are going to jump in because I know Terry got some good stuff for us tonight and I want to make sure we get all of it. So, like I said, we are talking about leveling up and what that means in 2023. It might mean something different for different people. And we saw that uh, last week. So we saw with Dr. Shalanda, she was talking about leveling up, actually being her kind of kind of toning it down and making sure that she was listening, making sure that she was taking time. She was stopping. She was resting and she was taking advantage of all of the hard work that she had done in these past years. She was kind of, you know, enjoying the fruits of her labor. And that was still producing work, but it looked different, right? And so one of the things we talked about here was how leveling up can look different for different people. 
because Absolutely. people need, you know, different things. So mm -hmm. Terry, tell us, what does level leveling up look like for you? Well, that's a great question, especially, of course, this time of year. And uh, I have been spending several weeks really kind of defining that for myself as we launch into 2023. So leveling up for me has to do with filtering, being intentional, mm. and focus. Okay. Those three things, filtering, being intentional, and focus. And so what I mean by that is, for the last three years, I have been really uh, busy going wide, <laughs> mm -hmm. going wide, getting information, just filling my uh, filling my storehouse with information and reading and coaching and skill building and all mm -hmm. of these things. And so now in 2023. I need to be able to filter through all of this because it was mm -hmm. so much information. Yeah. I need to be able to uh, decide what is it that I learned that works best for me mm -hmm. and be really intentional about focusing in on how those things connect with and help me level up in the different areas of my life. Mm -hmm. And specifically my marriage, okay, my mm -hmm. business, and then me personally. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love mm -hmm. that. So filtering and being intentional. And I think, you know, Terry, that's something that I've been working through um, in maybe a different way, right? So, so you're talking about like you've taken in all this great information and all of this great training. And so you're kind of filtering through and deciding what you need right now. Mm -hmm. I think I have been trying to filter through uh, distractions. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. and, and filtering out distractions mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that intentional part. When we know what our purpose is, when we know that we have to be about the father's business. Yes. And that it's, it's truly business is not, yes. you know, just something to play with. Then I think it helps us to become more intentional about where we set our time, where we set our effort. Right. Uh, where we set our sights. I would agree with that 100%, 100%. And I think all of the, the information that I've gotten over the last three years has helped me to identify that, to mm -hmm. really understand what is it that God has me here to do, Yeah. right? And uh, to, again, like you said, be, you know, focus in on that and take steps towards really as he leads me along that process. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So Terry, this is this like a one a, a <laughs> type of question, but with the information and you said it, all of the information kind of helps you figure that out. Do you feel like you kind of uh, gravitated towards certain types of training or certain types of information that help guide you? Or was it just like, you know, if the if the opportunity came, you took the opportunity? I think that's a great question. Mm -hmm. And absolutely, I focused on certain types of trainings. Mm -hmm. So I started, my starting point was, okay, as you talked about what God has, you know, created us to do, mm -hmm. what has God created me to do? And how do I even know what he created me to do? Mm -hmm. So I looked at what my gifts and talents were. Mm -hmm. What is it that people come to me and say that was a blessing? What mm -hmm. is it that comes naturally to me? Yeah. And I'll, I'll go a step further. What is it that I do that I feel the anointing of, mm -hmm. of God mm -hmm. <laughs> as I'm doing it? And that really um, helped me to identify as opportunities came along, mm -hmm. is this an opportunity for me? In addition to, you know, of course, praying about it and then just seeing God open those doors. So one, of course, was uh, with Dr. G and the speaker coach. Actually, mm -hmm. that was the, the final one. Prior mm -hmm. to that, I uh, did a training, a whole coaching program on uh, how to monetize my gifts, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. how to take all of my years of experience in the field, because I've been in the in the field of uh, clinical social work for 30 years. 
right? Wow. And I've been, I've done private practice. Mm -hmm. I have been in, in administration. I have worked in the school system. I have worked in hospitals. I have had nonprofit programs in the Department of Juvenile Justice. I mean, just so many. All the things. All of the things, so yeah. many different experiences, even building programs within the community uh, and working with all the different stakeholders in the community, bringing them together, mm -hmm. engagements, all kinds of stuff, girl. <laughs> and so, and so it's like, okay, how do I take the best of that, the things that mm -hmm. I enjoyed the most, the things where I saw uh, the needle move uh, the yeah. furthest, how do I take all of that and then put it into something. And that's really mm -hmm. how I came up with a uh, solution savvy. And that's like a strange name for counseling, but <laughs> solution. Will, right. Exactly. We are solution right. focused. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Very solution focused, very task oriented. I don't want to waste nobody's time. We want to get down to the get down. We want to see progress. Right. Yes. And yes. a lot of times that requires thinking outside of the box. And so that's where that solution savvy came in, because I know that one of the gifts that God gave me is that creativity. And he gave us all creativity, mm -hmm. but we're all different in the way that we create and especially in the way that it comes out on the on the other side. So the first training was, uh, as I said, with how to monetize, how to pull mm. all this stuff together and filter through and find mm. out, okay, this works, this doesn't. And then the second was building my private practice. Mm. And one of the big things that I got from that was asking for what I'm worth, right? Mm. Setting my prices as a mm. therapist, because coming out of, especially social work, <laughs> Out of that social work mindset, oh, you supposed to work and not get paid? No, no, no. <laughs> and, and you know what? And God didn't say that. He right? sure didn't. We put that on yes. on ourselves and on other folks, right? Oh, yes. well, you a helper? You know, helpers don't make a lot. Who said that? Who said that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not look, not my God, not mine. No, <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. He, he desires that. that he that we should prosper above all Ooh. things. He yeah. desires that we should prosper, yeah. right? As our souls prosper. So yeah. then, and then the third coaching experience, I was actually doing two when I was with, with Dr. G. One was with grant writing, because I have oh. a nonprofit to help place homeless families. Yeah. Uh, and then, so I did some grant, a grant writing coaching program, as well as um, with Dr. G. And listen, I don't know how you did both of those. Okay, because mm -hmm. Dr. G's was like going back to school. Okay, right. <laughs> so I don't know how you did both, but, but I, I love that you did all of this because, it, and that's something that I hope people are hearing. So the folks that's on, hey Toya, hey Anitra, I hope you all are hearing this. A lot of times we have all of this great experience, we have all of this amazing training. But like you said, how do I get the most out of it? How do I take the parts that are serving me and not just me, but serving the community? And how do I make sure that I put those in the forefront? And then how do I also continue to build myself up so that I'm able to pour out? Exactly. So, you know, charging what you worth, that's that's you have to do some mindset work. Yes, you do. That, right. Yes, that, I think do. that was one of the hardest things that we discussed. Mm -hmm. was being able to set your fees mm -hmm. and say those things confidently because mm -hmm. you know you've done the work you know you got the training you've done all of that yes. but then being able to say I'm not going to set my worth based off of what somebody else might think right right or comparing what you mm -hmm. what your value or your worth is yeah, to, to somebody, somebody else, somebody else. Mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. I so, um, yeah, so that's the, that's a lot of the preparation that I did uh, to get to where I'm at now. And I, when I tell you that well, it's a lot of information. Look, it sounds like I know how much we got with Dr. G, so I can only imagine yes. <laughs> right? doing yes. all of those different things. But like you said, that got you here. Mm -hmm. And I'm, um, I'm reading this Bible plan right now with a few friends and it's talking of, it's out of Proverbs and it's talking about wisdom. 
Right. Oh, yes. And how, you know, people who love wisdom are going to prosper. And that's what it is. Being teachable, being able to go into these programs, get what you need out of them, listen yeah. to God, put all of that together and make sure that you're walking the way that he wants you to walk. Amen. I'll say that again. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it is. So y'all, I hope y'all hearing this. If you, if God has placed it on your heart to do some type of training, if he has placed the opportunity in your path, if you feel that pull on the inside and you're not sure, should I go back to school? Should I do this, this MBA? Should I do, you know, this coaching speaker training, all of it, do it. Yes. Do it. What I found and, and Tara, I know you can agree with me on this. All of these things touched on more than just whatever the subject matter was. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, Absolutely. So I tell anybody, okay, Dr. G is a speaking coach, but she's so much more. Than so a much coach. more. Therapist. Yeah. All, <laughs> all the things. All, the all things. of the things. Yes. All of the things. And yes. so a lot of times, you know, God has multiple blessings for us to get when we go through some of these different things. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, Sherelle. Sherelle is <laughs> in the building. All hey, right. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, Terry, what are some things? Well, you told us what you're doing to level up. What are some habits that you feel like you are forming or have formed? And then what are some habits that you are discarding? Yes, definitely. Well, one thing. I think one of the biggest ones for me is I have, I guess, what I call the the black hole. When mm -hmm. I start working on a project or start working on something, mm -hmm. I just I just go in. My mother used to say, why do you always have to give 100% to everything? You give 100% to everything. And when I do that, there's times when I end up neglecting other things. Right. And so what I realized mm -hmm. in and through this process of, you know, gathering and, and filtering and learning is that I was neglecting my marriage. OK, mm -hmm. I'm being very transparent, mm -hmm. neglecting my marriage. And so that's why that's one of the first things that I said. And God, God bless me with just an awesome awesome partner i yes. oh my gosh oh my gosh and his his patience with me um he knows my heart he's a man of god he loves his family we've been married 26 years and he said it'll be 27 Ooh. years in march Listen, that deserves an amen right there. Amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. amen. And so uh, just making that decision to, to pivot, to mm -hmm. um, focus on my marriage, focus on my husband and giving him the time and attention that, that he needs, you know, mm -hmm. as, as a man, because he's been waiting. He's been patiently waiting. You know, I started this business. <laughs> And it was like, okay, okay, time's up. <laughs> right. I, need, I need you to come on back over this way. Mm -hmm. And so some new, that's the habit that I'm, I'm, I'm moving past is mm -hmm. letting go of that just tunnel vision on, mm -hmm. on the work and actually being able to balance or my time better, have more harmony mm -hmm. between the things that I know God has called me to. And so with my marriage, uh, uh, I'm looking at new ways to build, new ways to connect, and new ways to grow with mm -hmm. my husband. And mm -hmm. that includes me listening more, mm -hmm. just listening more, and listening for his heart, mm -hmm. and not being so quick to share my opinion, my perspectives, mm -hmm. but just being able to hear him. Mm -hmm. you know? it, it includes spending more time together. I am naturally an introvert. So like when COVID hit, I was fine. <laughs> you were like, okay. I'm like, okay, okay. I can do this. I can do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was, I was truly fine. Uh, but other folks, including my husband, he's an extrovert to the mm -hmm. extreme. Mm -hmm. That man can talk to anybody. I remember <laughs> when I think it was like maybe our second or third year of marriage and he called information for something to get a number 
And I promise you, about 45 minutes later, he was on the phone. I said, still on the phone. No, he's still talking to the information to the office. <laughs> Don't need a stranger. Mm -hmm. No strangers. No strangers. Amen. He is truly that extrovert. And so um, you know, he he likes to go out and, and interact with people. And a lot of times I would find myself staying and working or doing, you know, stuff mm -hmm. around the house, but I'm being intentional. Remember I said intentional mm -hmm. yeah. about spending that going with him mm -hmm. and being, and I see how much he's enjoying that mm -hmm. and I'm enjoying it. Right. I love and it uh, brings us closer. So uh, like I said, listen to him more, spend more time together. Uh, also support meaning mm -hmm. he's a very affectionate person mm -hmm. and I grew up single parent home mm -hmm. for the most part. My parents got divorced kind of early and strong black women, you know, yeah. it's independent. Right. <laughs> Don't need nobody. I am, I am she. <laughs> it's <laughs> independent. Uh, and so that would sometimes take away the, that affectionate part of me. Mm -hmm. So really being intentional about allowing myself to be more affectionate, mm -hmm. allowing myself to receive his affection. Okay. Yeah. Right? And then, of course, mm -hmm. uh, give that affection in return and then praying for my husband. And mm -hmm. I always pray for him. I always pray for him. But again, being intentional. Um, yeah. Stormy or Martin wrote the book, uh, The Power mm -hmm. of a Praying Wife. Mm -hmm. It is excellent. And okay. it's focused and intentional. And I've had the book on my shelf a long time. And I used it kind of like in the beginning of the of the marriage. And then you uh -huh. know how things kind of drift away. Right. So I pulled that back out just to be a, a guide, mm -hmm. you know, and being more intentional about praying for him specifically in specific areas and calling him more since he loves to talk on the phone. He's a firefighter. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. he he's on shift like what, 24 hours. And right. Then, and then all. Uh -huh. So when he's, they call him more. <laughs> and oh. step aside and allowing him to, you know, to step up. Yeah. Right. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. We got some comments in, in the um in the comment section. So Dr. Shalonda is on. Hey Doc. Hey Doc. Yeah. <laughs> she loves that book too. Anisha uh -huh. said it's a great book as well. Yeah. And and you know, I love the parts that you're you're talking about just bring out like balance to me. Right. Yeah. Like having balance. So with that tunnel vision, it's easy for us to get kind of caught and stuck on things. And yes. not that we're not doing a great work. It can be a great work. Right. Yes. But there's other stuff that's also important. Yes. And we have to have that balance. Mm -hmm. And I love that you say you're being intentional with your husband. That's something, you know, I try oh, to make sure. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, okay. It went out. OK. I was saying that's something I try to make sure, you know, that Kevin and I try to try to work on now and make sure that we don't lose oh, that, uh -huh. that intentionality piece. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So then uh, you mentioned other areas of life. So one other area, I'm sorry if you hear the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Look, this real life, this is this where we are. <laughs> Got it. Okay. You're freezing a little bit. Uh, real quick for, for the business, uh, I'm intentional about networking and marketing, just mm -hmm. getting out and networking. And of course, that was stalled mm -hmm. during the uh, during that month. And also uh, for me personally is to really treat myself as well as I treat others mm. by keeping the promises that I make to myself. I'm really big on if I tell somebody I'm going to do something, I want to follow through and do that. But a mm -hmm. lot of times for myself, what I notice is I'll, you know, put, Oh, well, I'll do that for me later. Oh, I'll do that for me. No, I'll keep my promises to yeah. myself. <laughs> I love that. Keep my promises to myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cause you're right. We will put ourselves to the side. Yes. And, you know, we'll say, oh, I'll come back to me. But again, talking about pouring out, if we don't fill our cup, if mm -hmm. we don't make sure that we take care of ourselves, at yes. some point, we're not going to have anything to pour. Okay. All right. Like that's, we, we that's all pour out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so we have to make sure that we are working on us first. Yes, absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I love that.
Yeah. I love that. What are some things you would recommend to other people to help them level up? I think one of the first and most important things is something that, uh, that Dr. G recommended so much and demonstrated for us. She, mm-hmm. she not only said it, but she modeled it for yeah. us, which is rest. Yeah. We have to have that time to rest and rest doesn't have to look like sleeping. Rest can mm-hmm. just look like having some quiet time, yeah. right? Or sitting yeah. in and, and reading a, a book, you know, list, being outside for me, it's like being outside on the patio and we have a, a pool in the, the fountain, the water mm-hmm. from the fountain is so soothing and relaxing. And I'll just mm-hmm. put on some soft music and just rest, even if it's 15 minutes. You know, mm. during our, our day, we can drive so hard, drive so yeah. hard. And I know for me, when that when the pandemic came around and at that time I was working uh, for an agency and they called and they said, oh, you don't have to come in. We're closing the agency. You have to work virtually or just wait mm-hmm. for instruction. I was like, Whoo, yes. <laughs> I can rest. I can stop because we were just going, 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 going. And uh, so that that's the first thing, Mm -hmm. just rest. And the second thing would be to reflect, take Mm -hmm. time and really uh, reflect and be grateful for where you are, for Mm -hmm. what you have, and just really integrate that into your life on a, on a daily basis. And that reflection is important because sometimes we can take things and or people Mm. for granted. Yeah. Yeah. And Mm. for me, it's, you know, that reflection is, is just so powerful. Yeah. It's so powerful and taking stock, taking account of, you know, what you do have in your life and the blessings that you have mm-hmm. in your life and then enjoying it, yeah. enjoying it, enjoying it. Oh, I love so, it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cause that brings about some gratefulness, right? When you take, when you're taking inventory. Yes. You know, when they said, when I look back over my life. Okay. Right? And when <laughs> I was younger, I'm like, what y'all looking back at? <laughs> what are you talking about? But now that I have gotten older, right? Yeah. I look back over my life mm. and I think things over, right? All of my good days outweigh my bad days. Yes. And so I yes. can be grateful. I can say thank you, Lord. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I want to go back to that rest real quick. So okay. uh, you said, you know, pandemic happened. They told you like, hey, stay at home, wait for further instructions, right? Mm-hmm. I know so many people that were like, what? What are we doing? <laughs> like, you know, like literally antsy, right? Like, I can't, uh-uh, no, I got to be doing something. Well, what about this or what about that? And I know even for me, there was, at first it was like, oh my God, my worst nightmare. Mm-hmm. <laughs> true, like there is some type of, you know, some type of germ, some type of something that we don't have means to control. Yes. And it is absolutely killing people. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so I wasn't busy at work because we were working from home. You know, I was able to, to do that. Right. Um, but I was busy trying to do God's job. It, it mm-hmm. wasn't my job. It was God's job. And mm-hmm. I'm going to take care of my family. So I'm wiping down stuff and we not going anywhere and don't talk to people and don't touch nothing. And Kevin, come on here and no, we can't go into the store because you're going to touch some, you know, right. all of that. And God set me down real quick, Mm. real quick. And I ended up having to go into the hospital for a little, little, I'm going to say minor surgery, but a little Mm -hmm. emergency surgery. Mm -hmm. And that is not where I wanted to be. I know it's not. And Mm. I said, wait, COVID is at the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. Mm. And Kevin will never let me live it down. But he asked me because I had been in pain for a few days. And he said, well, when are we going to get this checked out? You know, like when we actually going to go to the doctor to get it checked out? Right. I I said, when COVID is over. Mm. Yeah. Because in my mind, right, like we were going to get this taken care of, like by the summer, it was going to be fine. And I was going to go do whatever. Right. I didn't know you're going to go down here to the hospital tonight. Uh And so, and, and I had to 
not only rest. Look, he put in the comments, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> he was not happy with me. He was not happy with me. Uh -huh. I'm serious. I was like, I will not get sick. And God was like, if you do, who got you? Okay. Right. Like who had you this whole time? Mm -hmm. And so not only did I have to rest, but I had to do that reflection that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And I had to trust. You had to trust. And I had to be still for a minute. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Be yeah. still and know. Mm -hmm. And so that that was a nice little lesson for me. I didn't I didn't like it in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a nice little lesson for me and it prepared me for things to come. So yeah. when I would start to get worked up, I'm like, hey, hold on. He got it. If he could take me to the hospital in April of 2020 at the height of COVID before we had vaccines and everything else. Yes. And I, you know, got whatever the little issue was. It was a gallstone. Got the little gallstone taken care of, you know, was able to come out the hospital, did not get COVID. Yes. All right. It's like if he could do that, he can do all the rest of this. Absolutely. He can do Absolutely. all these things. Yeah, I knew my sister was coming in the in the comments to my be still. Yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> yeah, we talk still. we talk often about rest mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how I think black women especially, but I'm sure other people as well. We sometimes equate rest with doing nothing or being lazy, right? And right. that's that's not what it is. And that's not. Yeah, rest is needed. You are doing something. I know you you see this with your patients. Yes. Even my teenagers come in and they like, oh, I got to, I gotta do something. I gotta work on some. I if not, I'm I'm being lazy. If not, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm not being productive. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's so uh, funny that you brought that up because I had a client today and uh she was saying how, well, two of the days she was productive and the other days that she wasn't. So I said, Well, let's start. I said, Let's start with your planning. Tell me what, what your schedule's like. If I, when I tell you this girl had back to back to back to back to back, and and then she said uh, around 2.30, she started at five, okay? Mm. Mm -mm. With the client, which means that she was up before then. She had a client at five o'clock? She's a trainer. So she had a five a.m. Five a. client. Mm. A 6 a.m. client, a 7 a.m. And then just then I worked on this and then I worked on this. And then at 2.30, I was I was supposed to do this, but I, I found myself out and talking to the staff and kind of, you know, playing around a little bit. And then I was, you know, she was hard on herself about that. Mm. I said, do you know why you did that? And she said, no, I because you needed to. <laughs> your, your body, mind, soul, your spirit, everything needed a break. You needed a break. I said, you have to listen, listen to yourself and give yeah. yourself a break. I said, uh, slavery, we were emancipated. We were emancipated. emancipated. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Who, That's not what we do now. Did we have to work like Hebrew slaves. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. And and you talk about rest mm -hmm. and God even talks about that. He has prepared mm. a rest for yeah. us. Yeah. He's prepared that for us to be able to enter into. He says that enter into my rest. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then allow him to provide, allow him to lead us, guide us. And if we don't, then we're tempted to think that everything that is done, we did it's because of us. And that's it's, not true. That's mm -hmm. right. That's mm -hmm. not true. Yeah. That's not true. We yeah. have to make, make room and allow God to be God in right. our lives. Just like yeah. I have to allow that man to be that man in my life. Your life. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I hope hubby is listening. <laughs> I, I hope he hear you. Yes. So yeah. Dr. Talanda said, I admit I used to like sounding busy. She said, "Me and I grew up. Come on, Doc, grow okay. up. Yes, okay for I the grow it. up. <laughs> yeah, because that's that's what that is, right? You know, yes. like, and sometimes because we have been told that you know, strong black women and we superwoman and we got this when nobody else got this and all of that, right? We we think that that's the way to go." Mm -hmm. We think that that's what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And we think that that's what people want to hear. Yes. That's not doing us any good. None at all. Culture None has done us, uh, done a number on us. 
Absolutely. done a number of us and we have to uh, relearn a lot of things. Yeah. Relearn for me, <clears throat> relearn how yeah. to be a, a wife, honestly, mm -hmm. how to mm -hmm. be that help me because mm -hmm. the models that were set before me, of course, were the strong mm -hmm. black women. And in that time, they had to be both. Right. But when you enter into a marriage, you don't have Listen. to be Oh. You you supposed to get some help, and oh, I can be yeah. the help me, but I also I'm gonna need some help. Yes, right? and I don't mind. <laughs> I don't yes. mind helping. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. Yeah. Oh, and you mentioned um, <clears throat> just okay, just on the on the line of self care, mm -hmm. and because uh, me is the other part of that, you know, and like I said, uh, learning to treat myself as well as I treat others. Learning to love myself as 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 I love others and keep the promises that I make to myself, and just being kinder and gentler to myself. Yeah. And the other thing, the big thing, of course, which I learned through Dr. G, is no shrinking, mm. no fading, yeah. no minimizing mm -mm. who I am, who God has created uh, me to be. Yeah. Right? Uh, because I did, I did that. I. I I absolutely did that, especially in the workplace mm. uh, where there was a lot of uh, politics involved and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just uh, it was just very, very toxic. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I what I realized coming out of that was that I had uh, allowed myself to be traumatized in that situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, denied myself uh, the freedom to be who God created me to be. Mm -hmm. And it took a minute to come out of that yeah. Yeah. and to even feel comfortable uh, speaking up and, and mm -hmm. being myself because you were penalized, or at least I was in that mm -hmm. situation, um, for having ideas, for thinking, mm -hmm. <laughs> for being a problem solver, for being a go-getter. You know, because there were people who, you know, didn't didn't want the light to shine over here. Right, right. They needed all the light for themselves. So after going through that last uh, coaching mm -hmm. experience, which I did not expect, as you said, when we mm -hmm. go through these experiences, we get a lot of things we we don't expect. And I did not expect to get that out of mm -hmm. the experience with Dr. G, but I absolutely got it. Yeah. And I'm holding on to that. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm with you, Terry. So not only am I holding it, I'm also sharing it with yes. others, right? I tell my trainees all the time, feel your space. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't like don't that. shrink. Like that. Yeah, don't shrink to make space for other folks. Feel your space. Feel mm -hmm. all of it. Yes. And if folks don't like it, if your light is too bright, like Dr. G said, they can put on some shade. Put on some shades. Right? If you too much for them, that's their problem. That's not your yes. problem. You yes. be exactly who God has called you to be. And people will be attracted to that. Yeah. Right. They'll be attracted to that light. And so during the um, my conference, Free Before 40, we uh -huh. talked about, right, walking in your magic and making sure that you know your magic and then yeah. you are able to, to display it. You're able to exhibit it, right? Because we all are magic. We all have magic. Yeah. And so one of the things we talked about was our light and shining our light. And my lion sister said something that just stuck with me. And she's an engineer, so she loved to talk about stuff in scientific terms. Uh -huh. And she was talking about what light really is and how if you have a light on you, that doesn't take away from the light on somebody else. Yes. Right? Yeah. Like light doesn't hide light. That's not That's how they right. work. That's right. You know, so we can all shine. Absolutely. And so, who, you know, whoever that was that was intimidated by your light at that last place of employment, well, we just going to pray for them. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So I see Dr. Shalonda said, no more dimming. Exactly. We are not dimming our lights. We are shining. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Terry, there you go. You back. Yeah, we're right here. Mm -hmm. I was on the way to uh, an engagement and I happened to look up in it at the sky and it wasn't nighttime, but I just looked up at how vast the sky was mm -hmm. and it, it 
for me, it felt like God was saying in my spirit is that, you know, all the stars in the sky, mm. they all shine. There's a place for all of them, right? There's enough room for everybody yeah. to shine. Yeah. 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 And all of them, right, have their place. Exactly. And that's, you know, and that's something that we, this is saying, my uncle used to say it, stay in your lane, right? Mm -hmm. Like all of us have our place, all of us have our lane, and yeah. we can shine brightly in that lane. That lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, and that, and going back to what you were saying about training and all of the, the work that you've done, when we look for and seek out wisdom and guidance, God will give it to us. He sure he'll, will. He'll tell us which way to go. He'll show us the path. And it will, as Dr. G would say, it helps us to lean into ease. Yes. You know, yes. things don't have to be hard. Right. Things can right. Be easier than we expect them to be. Exactly. Exactly. And success can be easy as yes. well. I that doesn't that. have to be hard, especially mm -hmm. if you've already gotten that guidance from God. He gives you that first step. Mm -hmm. When it's time to take the next step, just continue to look to him and he just, you know, yes. just opens the door. He just yes. opens the door one step after another. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean that, you know, we don't have to fight the good fight in terms of faith. Mm -hmm. And I think we, you and I were talking about the other day, uh, how the negative thoughts will come Yeah, yeah. to try to keep you stuck. Mm -hmm. Dr. Shalom. Dr. Shalom. Dr. Shalom. <laughs> Most keep that's her word. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> to keep you stuck. Uh, but it, when you understand that that's what it is mm -hmm. and you understand, and that's where that reflection comes in again, is that God brought me through this and he mm -hmm. brought me through this and he kept me when, when I had to go to the hospital and, and yeah. COVID was all over the place and I had mm -hmm. to have that opera. He kept me through that. Yeah. Then he'll do it again because he's the same God yesterday, Come on. today, yeah. and forever. Ever. Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you preaching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see Dr. Tanya on too. Hey, y'all. Oh, we Dr. got all, all our next level sisters in here. I love it. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. So, Terry, thank you so much. I hope y'all heard all of that. If you didn't get all the gems, please go back and rewatch because Terry dropped the gems for you. All right. So we are going to filter through. We are going to be intentional. We are going to take rest and we are going to reflect. All Absolutely. right. We're doing all of that in 2023. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah. Absolutely. Keep our focus. <laughs> we got to. We got to. And that's something I think um, my word a couple of years ago was um, was focus. That was my word for the year a couple of years ago. Focus. Mm -hmm. yep. And this year is level up. I'm telling folks, full throttle, no brakes. We are going full gas. We yes. are jumping dead first into everything God has for us. And we are not leaving anything on the table. Girl, I'm feeling all of that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel and table. receive all of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I see. I got a line, sister. Oh, hey, Wendy. Hey, Pastor Nicole. <laughs> level up, level up. Yes. Look, now she about to come in here and cut up. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, ma'am. We're not coming hey, over Pastor to the night. Pastor Nicole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, ma'am. Somebody, hey, hey. So, y'all, thank you all for joining us tonight. We have had another good time talking about leveling up and yes. talking about mindset, y'all. And that's that's what Terry and I were talking about about before we went live. All of this is about mindset. It is All right. All of this is mindset work. Those negative thoughts that Terry were just referencing. If, in order for you to get over that, you got to do some mindset work. Yes, knowing your worth showing up as your authentic self, shining your light, filling your space. All of that takes mindset work. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so y'all, there's always some work for us to do. I see my cousin just got on to my, am I late again? Yes. Cousin, <laughs> you're late. That's all right. Just check out the replay. All right. That's check it. That's replay. it. Yes. That's so it. Terry, tell everybody how they can follow you, please. Sure. I am on Instagram at the mental health Mike, and that's Mike M I C. 
Uh, and then I'm also on Facebook, uh, also at Mental Health Mike. Uh, and you can find me in both of those places. And I, I have uh, some things coming up. And, you know, I talked about um, thinking outside of the box, right? And and the whole solution savvy thing. So one of the uh, ideas that God gave me is the fabulous pop-up prom experience. I love it. Yeah. Yes. What, the what's fabulous, the title? Well, give them the whole title. The fabulous pop-up prom experience. Yes. And what I'm doing is targeting uh, juniors and seniors who are preparing for the prom, young ladies. And I have almost 200 uh, boutique prom gowns, all oh, shapes, yes. sizes, colors, all of that. And we're doing a pop up store that's February 19th. And we're uh, selling VIP reveal passes. Oh, I love it. Right. So we have 50 of those and they are for sale. And the, when the young ladies register, they'll have the opportunity to fill out a form that will uh, be specific to what they're looking for, their size, mm -hmm. what kind of color, what kind of um, uh, design they want, like the mermaid or the trumpet or the ball, yeah. whatever it is they want. And we will pull two of those gowns aside for them, put their names on it, and they get that first class treatment uh, when they come in an hour before the general public. So it oh, be them. They get the the reveal, the first look, trying on and to find their gown. And then once uh, the young ladies buy their gown, it, it opens to the public at eleven. And it'll go from 11 until 8 p.m. But want everyone who purchases a gown gets invited into the VIP lounge. And then mm -hmm. there we'll have a picture wall. We'll have some gourmet treats for them. And I'll be doing a 10-minute mini uh, workshop around mm -hmm. anxiety for them. Just mm -hmm. teaching them, helping them to understand what it is and giving them some grounding exercises to be able to better manage anxiety. Because we know post-pandemic, one right. of the things that we've seen, especially in the youth, is that spike. There's a lot of, yeah, a lot anxiety. of anxiety and depressive yeah. symptoms. Yeah. Terry, that's going to be such a blessing. Such yeah. a blessing. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. excited. Yeah. It's a, people are saying that's awesome. They love it. <laughs> it sounds great. So awesome. Yes. So, yes. Terry, is it anything that any of us can do for that event? Oh. Well, spread the word. Uh, you can join, you know, either on the uh, Facebook page or the IG. I've got uh, reels going. And, you know, I didn't know how to do that. But again, you know how we were talking about success yep. comes with ease and just being able to hear God and, and allow him to open the door. And so yeah. I had the idea to do uh, some unboxing videos when we got I those. And we were like, oh, my gosh. And then and I was like this would be great to capture on film or on video. Yes. And I went to a breakfast uh, probably about a week later. Cause I was like, okay, Lord, I love the idea, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but look, he'll send you some help. Idea. But he'll send you some help. He will. And he sure did. He sent me help, a mm -hmm. media, uh, a social media marketer. Who happens oh, to be my soror, who happens to be a, a woman of God. And yes. we just, she just, she understood the concept. She jumped on it, excited. So the reels and everything that you see are done uh, by Miss Shauna Pierre. I um, love it. She did a great job. She brought her son. We had the ring light. We used my, it was just awesome. Just awesome. So what yeah, get on there, like that, share that. Yeah, all of that helps. You. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So when you all follow her at the Mental Health Mike on Instagram, right, and Mental Health Mike on Facebook, you will see the reels. You all can like it and share them. And just make sure, because because Terry's going to have a lot of stuff coming up. So make sure you are following. And Terry, thinking about reels, that's something that I started doing right at the end of 2022. Okay. I started actually doing a few reels. And so, um, you know, I told you all at the beginning of the month, it was so much, so many different things, so many ways God was leveling me up mm -hmm. and doing reels was one of them. 
Uh -huh. right? So trying, trying to stick with the times, right? Yeah. And so um, for the folks on my VIP list, you all will get a special email tonight with a new way that me and hubby have leveled up together. Oh, and right. so, yeah. So, and, and Terry, you already know about this, but <laughs> um, I will send it out in real form tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm still practicing those skills. But like you said, it's coming a lot easier than we would think. Yes. Right? And yes. so, you know, that's why I promised God in this year. I said, you know, I am trusting you in mm -hmm. ways that I have not before because you've mm -hmm. never let me down anyway. Right. Come so why now. why am I why am I hesitating? Come so on if, now. If you put the opportunity in front of me, I'm taking it. Yes. Right? I'm doing it. Yes. So y'all, this is my yes season. Okay. So we, we are going to level up in 2023, y'all. We're going to do some amazing things, even more so than what we've already done. Amen. Because we've been already doing amazing stuff. So. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So, Terry, once again, thank you so much, sis, for being on tonight. I appreciate you. I know the crowd appreciates you. And, you know, we're going to have to do this again. Yes, we will. Yeah. Yes, we mm -hmm. will. It is all always right. a pleasure and definitely mm -hmm one of the many benefits from the coaching experience. Again, Definitely. You, what Definitely. you said before is the relationships that have yeah. uh, developed as a result yeah. of it. And all my, all of our level up sisters who are yeah. tuning in, your support, your, your smiles, your, your reports on the things that you're doing, all yeah. of those things are just so encouraging and it is an honor to be able to celebrate your leveling up alongside. Yes. And I'm always cheering for y'all. Always, always yes. cheering for you, Dr. CC, and all the, the sisters and level up all the wonderful things that you all yes. are doing. Keep shining, yes. keep shining. Yes, definitely, definitely. And y'all keep sharing, right? So we, yes. we are together forever now, okay? Yes. <laughs> forever, forever. forever. <laughs> so y'all just keep sharing yes. and we're going to keep cheering and we're going to keep loving on each other. And that goes for everybody else. Make sure that you are sharing with your circle, whoever mm -hmm. your circle is, make sure that you are sharing with your circle so that they can help pour into you and you can then pour back into them. Let this not be a season where we're holding stuff to ourselves. Right. Right. We, we don't have to do that. There's That's no reason right. for that. Right? right. Let's make sure that we are sharing because if your circle is correct, if it's the right circle, right, then you're going to get the love that you are looking for. You're going to get the love that God has for you. And if your circle isn't right, let's put your energy into to getting that circle where it need to be. That's okay. right. You're getting another circle. Exactly. <laughs> right. You might need a whole new circle. OK, uh -huh. <laughs> well, so y'all, we're going to leave y'all with that tonight. Nicole said forever, ever. Yes. Forever, ever, ever. Yes. Ever, ever. <laughs> yes. Yes. So thank you all for joining us on Dr. CC Says. We will be back next week. Depending on who our special guest will be, it'll either be a Wednesday or a Thursday. I will let you all know ahead of time as usual, but we will see you back next week. We are continuing to talk about leveling up and how we can do that in 2023. All right. Y'all right. have a blessed night. And uh, Dr. Shalanda said, love y'all. We love you too. Love you. Love you. Thank you, Dr. Cece. I love you. Yeah. Love you too. Yeah.